It's been 10 years since local businessman Tom Nixich fought to keep his business, Temperature Control Service, from becoming part of the Montreal River. But his memories of those long, tense days are clear. I, I think we spent the whole day and into the night sandbagging and watching it because as the water kept rising, the trucks keep coming with more sandbags. More than 100 inches of snow fell over the city of Ironwood in February and March 2002. Combined with a cold spring and a sudden hot spell of 80 degree temperatures, Ironwood faced a problem. A lot of people that lived here have never seen snow banks go from five feet high to uh, zero feet in two days. Water on the Montreal River began climbing April 14th. The next day, crews were sandbagging for more than 24 hours straight to save parts of the town. We had volunteers from everywhere. We had prisoners, high school students, neighbors, uh, all over the uh, Gogebic Range. In the end, most infrastructure was saved, but the flood did claim a few homes, damaging as many as 10. The town received a federal disaster declaration for its flood damage. The level the Montreal River reached in 2002 is part of the 100-year floodplain. That means it's only likely to happen once every 100 years. But if it happens again before then, the city of Ironwood says they're ready. City officials say after the flood, they reviewed and revised the emergency management plan for the city. They also cleaned the Montreal River of the dead vegetation that could create flood building dams and have spent FEMA dollars on system and road improvements. It just it woke up our eyes to keep our emergency management plan current. Um, when something happens, you know, we don't hesitate to refer to that. Thanks to the community efforts, water never reached Tom Nixich business on Silver Street in 2002. And even though he's too close to the river to be eligible for flood assistance, he says he's here to stay. I kind of like it here and the local people know where I'm at when they need to find me or call me. So. Nikki Davidson, TV6 News, Ironwood.